Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Iron Libra Rising, a weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 17 to December 23rd, 2018. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, once again I want to remind you that that is a general reading for Libra Star Sign and for that reason this reading is going to resonate in a different level for every single different Libra in this world. So in this spread I will uh, do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but if you want your situation to be a, a subject of analysis through the tarot that is a, a matter of a personal reading <clears throat> and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a, a full list of my services and as well as their pricing and if you do so don't bear in mind that um, <clears throat> for the duration of num of a month December the prices for the 20 and the 30 minute personal tarot reading live one with me are with reduced costs so <clears throat> All in all, these are the four tarot cards, the main four tarot cards for the your week, uh, Libra. And this is going to be as well an, an enhanced tarot spread, which uh, means that we are to draw additional card per position. So the first position here, it's about the topic of your week. That is going to be the judgment. So we do have some sort of a, a reprioritization and etc, etc, just so you can maintain your balance or to regain back balance in your life uh, then we do have the temperance card which is the core of the situation here and that is a um, a kind of like uh, in your specific case here it is kind of like the realization you know there are certain things that you are uh, overlooking you know needs to now take place into uh, into your environment so that is kind of like bringing your attention into a, a new um, these are not even new yet persisting but still overlooked situations or um, <clears throat> undertakings in your life. Then we do have the Six of Cups here which is the challenges that are causing predicaments. Now we are seeing the dissatisfaction or you are going to find a little more amusement into that. Yet um, <clears throat> it will be something substantial for you to maintain the balance in your life. And the last one that is going to be the Strength which is the... Uh, guidance for tarot and that is uh, pretty much obvious here the strength basically points that you have to persevere through patience but that is just the overview of the spread so let's go dive deeper into every single position by drawing additional tarot card so for the first one we do have the seven of swords accompanied with the judgment card so this week here is going to be a bit quote-unquote selfish for your behalf. Now these, uh, these couple of cards are the recognition of what is important for yourself apart from what is important from the for the people around you. So let me give you an, an example. If we're talking about a relationship wise, you have to recognize what is important for yourself into that relationship, you know, and start prioritizing regarding it. If it is about your work, same thing goes around. So here we are seeing you disregarding the opinions of others and uh, you know as well their uh, their behavior either uh, towards you and towards your uh, towards your undertakings and enterprises. So you can actually this time around things the things th takes take the matter in your own personal hands. What we do have here as well is that this week a justice is going to be served. That is very important and especially if you have been mistreated recently. I know a Libra, a very dear person to my heart and uh, I know that this person is rather mistreated recently. Well these cards here are pointing that those who mistreated you are to get what they deserve. But in order this to happen you have to actually stand for yourself you know i mean you have to take and adopt your standpoint and do not drop it for anything that it is uh, 
<clears throat> let's say presented to you I mean if you are being if you have been mistreated for example being paid less than the negotiated you know you were uh, you were being kind with someone let's say your girlfriend and in, in the same time your girlfriend is mean to you and etc etc you have to make a point of it here with these cards you gotta slam the table and actually demand for what you have been known because the justice here with the justice card card can only be served if you show that you do have a strong spine a strong backbone you storm your situation you demand for what you have been owned you know and <clears throat> in general collect all the debts that people own you for one or another reason but in the same time you need to know that this is going to be a result of your previous actions so um this week as well for you Libra as well as kind of sorting out your priorities in a way in which you are to make your environment much more balanced until now it is also a, a point where you are to discern the um, the real kind of like unfoldment of your things or of your projects as well right so what I'm trying to say here is that many things that you thought are vague are going to become clear many masks that people have wear until this very uh, until mo until this very moment are to drop down and that will be a point where you are to start demanding what you truly deserve for one or another reason and my point here was that not everybody is going to have things to take off you know some of you Libras who are going to have things to give away because these are the cards that justice is served and you and you can be on the downside of the justice for example if we have the justice card for a court case you know many many tarot readers and many books are going to tell you you know that this is a favorable outcome of the justice case favorable outcome for the truth that doesn't mean that you will come up victorious from it you know the truth will be served whatever the judge says that will be the truth that will be the accurate decision here it may not be in your favor however all right <clears throat> so it is very important here that you have been accountable toward yourself and toward your actions as well and toward your intentions in the past in the recent past so you can get exactly what you deserve throughout this particular week and the core of the situation with the temperance card accompanied by the moon card it is exactly the recognition of what I said before when I made the overview here that you are to recognize some approaches and in generally you know some things that you are overlooking that are to be substantial for your further development and in generally to get what you truly deserve so for example you want to be successful into your career all right but you are overlooking that qualification that you do require and you think you know that you can do it without it while here in this week you we are reaching a point where you have to discern the reality from fiction and recognize that actually no matter how this how much dislike you do have toward you know the um the idea to invest into new qualification you gotta do it because that is the way how you are going to place on the plaza there uh, the necessary qualities and the necessary um skills that this specific agenda of yours either regarding career or regarding relationship requires now if we're talking about relationship that is obvious here we are do seeing a, a much more milder approach toward your partner or toward a um, a specific person recognizing you know that until this very moment you had so many outing standpoints now you recognize you know here that if you do demand what you deserve you also have to pay for it with these couple of cards you know having well, it does look like more like a, a fight for your relationship uh, toward exterior forces so people were going against your relationship and you still are fighting for it here demanding for what you do deserve so you have fight fought and 
for it before and now you will not allow people to destroy it just because they can recognizing how you can do it you know through a compromise through making stronger bond with your partner or whatever and uh, <clears throat> that is the way how things are continuing for very important once again is to recognize here guys that there will with no sacrifice there won't be any victory and in the same time <clears throat> when you do make that sacrifice you need to demand for the appropriate compensation for it and uh, as we said you will find it very little liking of what you have to compromise with throughout this week all right here with the six of cups the next card that we do accompany six of cups this is going to be the eight of wands so you are going to find all that process very dull uh, though in a sense that to you, it is something that has to be, had to be, excuse me, and naturally executed. And at the first place, you should, you shouldn't even be in questioning, you know, the uh, the payment or the compensations you got to get from your relationship or from your career for for the efforts that you are giving. But uh, it seems that people don't appreciate your work or they don't appreciate your affectionness. Um, Affectedness, excuse me, they don't appreciate your devotion as well. And it is why you got to make your point here with the Seven of Swords after you are actually willing, again, to recognize that some, um, some chores are very substantial for, um, for your future development. So again, you cannot ask for something if you're not willing to give in return and the, ju the, the justice card is all about that you know maintaining the balance so and this is something I learned in the second grade the great excuse me before you ask you first have to give and that is uh, that is the point here for you guys and I'm kind of jumping jumping um, back and forth because in these cards we cannot really define are you to give throughout that week or you already gave and now is the time for you to ask for that compensation that is very important here and unfortunately as a general reading I can't really define uh, it's <clears throat> For the most of you, you are to, at the start of the week, give away some adopted uh, positions, you know, and make those compromises, even though you're not going to like what you have to do, because it, it will seem dull to you, as I said, you know, and it will seem that something natural that has to happen from both sides, and, you, and the other side simply doesn't kind of seem to, to have grasp upon it, all right? But in the same time, when you give away, you will start receiving as well, as long as you do have the, uh, how can I place it? Mm. Man, I forgot the word. <laughs> it's, it's stupid. As long as you do have that affinity to really ask for what you have been owned. Very important. So the justice is to be served only if you have the strong spine to ask for it. It's kind of like thin line, it is what we do have here. And at the end, what we do have, it is the strength card accompanied with the nine of wands. We definitely talk about patience in these in these couple of cards as as well as we are talking about reshaping uh one's environment one's relationship and one's career so with those new benefits either this is going to be about strengthening your relationship you know getting the project that you do want through uh recognizing that you need a different qualification and etc etc again it's going to be different for every single one of you these cards are pointing that from now on should you accomplish all these um conditions here uh, the, the the whole situation is going to give you the opportunity to start reshaping it's not really reshaping but let's say uh, readjusting all of your environment 
career and relationship wise now because we do have these cards with the strength here and the nine of wands down there it may be that you are to be questioned why you are readjusting you know your relationship schedule your working schedule and etc etc and what is important with these cards is that you don't have to feel obliged to give explanations it is simply because you like it that way and that will be the end of it you don't have to kind of throw yourself into constantly explanatory uh, standpoint because then you are just going to waste energies and you will not have any time whatsoever in order to make whatever you are after or to readjust you know your career and your relationship in a uh, in an incarnation that you actually want also these cards here are pointing that as soon as you know you are starting to see that actually people and situations and whatever are treating you the way uh, the way they are supposed to and they are giving you the way uh, these things that you are deserving that should boost you and you should kind of like uh, uh, obtain a much more vigorous and a much more uh, how can I place it passionate state to proceed on down the road and develop even further those kind of priorities that you are restructuring over here through the recognition you know of a, a overlooked circumstances which has to be fitted into your current uh, current priorities and through them you can now start demanding you know uh, for additional benefits or simply that people pays you for how much you work or treat you for what you are uh, <clears throat> so literally uh, this is the point of the reading here Libra and uh, just to summarize it it does look like that uh, throughout December 17 to December 23rd a lot of awkward situations and uh, a little bit uh, I don't know exactly the word in English uh, but uh, yeah awkward situations and unnatural uh, flow of events are to get back into normal but and this will be the time they will get back into normal through your personal efforts here of um, recognized overlooked circumstances or overlooked leverages and etc etc and that will be the time where you can actually this time around ask for a compensation of it it's not going to be something that you will like to do all right uh, to demand for what you have been owned but in the same time it will be necessary in order to people those people who need to to recognize it so uh, that being said uh, so look at it, this uh, this reading or this week as a, a payback week. All right. So people and situations are to pay back to you for uh, for your performance and for your dedication. So that being said, going to the Lenormand tar uh, to the Lenormand card spread, what the Lenormand is to show us is a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid. Right, so let's see what we got here. So the first card, this is going to be the child, and the child could simply stand for a child, it could stand for innocence, and it could stand for a, a new beginning. We do have the bear, the bear stands for support, it stands for resources, it does stand for headstrong, and it does stand for devotion as well. After that we do have the key, and the key stands for discovery, and also stands for opening or a, a closing doors so the way i see the things is that we do have some new resources coming in your way whatever remember what i said here you are gonna get what you have been owned so we do have a potential raise into salary more devotion from one partner into your career which is going to basically give you more things to work with regarding career or regarding relationships so new resources coming in your way here new or new supports a very sincere one as well you know very innocent one coming in your way which is going to open new doors through which you can proceed and further your cycles of development but once again what the Lenormand doesn't point 
is the uh, temperance card here sitting which points that you will also have to help it. You will have to, as I said, stop overlooking an unimportant matters in your life because exactly those overlooks of unimportant matters are giving people around you the means necessary to mistreat you and to not appreciate your work. So that being said, uh, Libras, this was your General Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 17th to December 23rd, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, this was just a general reading for Libra Star Sign. Therefore, it's going to resonate differently in a different level for every single Libra in this world. If you want your situation to be analyzed just like this <clears throat> in a private session, then this is a... Uh, Subject to a personal reading and uh, for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can um, see all of my services and as well as their pricing and if you go for it guys don't forget that for the uh, until the end of the of December the prices for the 20 and the 30 minutes personal tarot reading with me are uh, reduced they are with reduced costs. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.